What's up, pirates? It's me, Joku DMD, here back with some more really cute chopper boxes for the Memorial Booster while we patiently wait for set seven to drop. I can't wait, I'm so excited. I just can't stop talking about that five cost Luffy. That Luffy looks so dang good. And all right, here's the thing about that Luffy, right? Every alt art in the game has been a work that is drawn by another artist. You can see on the cards who the card is drawn by on the upper right, except that Luffy is the first time we get an alt art that's just like a you know regular alt art in the set that is drawn by Oda which I believe in the long term is gonna make that extra valuable, bless him. I think that's gonna be one of the most, sorry, camera jiggling. Um, I think that's gonna be like one of the most valuable cards ever in the One Piece card game. So I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a heck ton of it. And I'm just gonna get as many as I possibly can because I absolutely love that card. I think it's so cool. It's such a cool effect. Oh, Viola, yes. Just need two more of these girls. This card I think is really, really strong. Being able to rearrange your opponent's life, 1K counter, and being able to flip your face up life cards face down. Really good in ST13 Luffy, which I am playing. So very, very happy to pull that. I need one more of her, and then I'll have my play set. But I'm really on the hunt for flampes. I've only pulled one flampe so far. So if we could just get a couple more, there's another Viola would be great but that yeah the, the problem with the st13 luffy day oh, god so cute feels so good every time opening this card feels so good it's so shiny and so cute what more can you ask for they nailed it on their memorial booster i hope they do this once a year i really really hope once a year we see a memorial booster come out because this is just this is just a fun set to open the cards look so good it's so exciting to strip them but yeah, one of the problems with the ST13 Luffy deck is you just don't have that many targets right now for the for your little little kiddos, right? You just have the ones that came from the starter deck, and the ST13 Luffy has access to um, Sabo, which is really great. And in the Sabo deck, you have the access to the Rush Luffy, which I really like. That's like one of my favorite cards, so it's a really cool card to play that in. But we need some more yellow targets for Ace Luffy and Sabo. So to you know, as as we get more targets. The deck is just going to become more and more versatile and also some options to, Ooh, another brook sick this card is so sick looking wow what a sick box viola and brook i love that and then we'll probably we're either going to get a bong clay or a leader in here i'm feeling like bong clay that's right there he is very very cool all right i'm right on to the next box but yeah right now the issue is we just don't have that many targets so as we get more targets the deck's going to become a lot more playable and you're gonna be able to do a lot more stuff. I like that it's so versatile in the different directions that it can go. It just feels like when you're piloting it well and you have the pieces that you need, but I do think that we're gonna need some amount of recursion from the drop area to be able to grab the kiddos because if you only see one or two of them per game, right, you're only getting that effect off a couple times and oh, I didn't even bless them the last one, bless them. I think this is a pack from the last box. I should still strip from this. Let's see what's in here. Cool SR maybe? Yeah, sure, Hoshi. Love that, love that art. Love that art, love that card, love this game. But yeah, as, as there's more stuff to play, more options, the deck's just gonna become so much more fun. You can go in different directions and, and maybe if they release other um, young Luffy's and young Sabo, Aces and Sabo's, that do a similar thing. Maybe they don't need to give your leader 2K, but stuff that plays the Ace, Luffy's, and Sabo's out of your life. I just think it's such a cool concept. It's so fun. You really, um, you're starting to really get control over stuff on your side. And I just, I think that deck has the highest ceiling out of any deck in the game. I still haven't seen an Inazuma alt art. I'm assuming there is one. I think I pulled one in Japanese, but honestly, I don't even remember. There's just so many cool One Piece cards coming out and getting announced all the time. And I'm, always making my cards so sometimes it's a little hard to keep up but flampe is what we're looking for not hiori but that's fine that's two hiori's or three i think i'm at three hiori's now but yes flampe we need we need one more viola and three more flampe's and then i'll have my play sets and i'll be able to build my deck I am recording this like in the past of when it's now. So I'm playing in a regional actually tomorrow in real time, but I don't think EB1 is legal for that. So 
I think um, I think when a set just drops, there's a week of time before it's legal in regionals. But I need to figure out if it is or it isn't because if it's not, I gotta start getting reps in with Flampe and Viola, wherever they are. And at this rate, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bling my deck out with Flampe's. It's only seen one. Also that Kitten Killer, that card is really cool. Really good in um, in the uh, deck I was just talk talking about, the Sabo deck, because it's a 7K, T-boned, classic. That's kind of a butt box. Are we gonna get an alt art leader in here? No. It's gonna be it's either gonna be a bong clay or a leader now. The next the next pull is guaranteed to be leader. Hannibal? Kiros. Cool. Very cool. Texture in this set's amazing. Anyway, that's it for the strip and thanks for coming by. I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be I've said this many, many times, but having a good dental routine is so important. Something that doesn't feel like work. Not something that when you do it, you're like, oh, I'm doing this because I have to do it. I'm doing this because Joku told me to do it. You're doing it because it makes you feel better. The same way that you wipe your butt after you poop, which I hope you do, you do it because you feel cleaner and you feel better. That's how brushing your teeth and flossing should be. You should be doing it because it makes you feel cleaner and better. Not because somebody told you to. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.